So Globy, today I have a really special treat for you. We're gonna meet someone who works at NASA and find out all about her job to help prepare for our return to the moon. We're also gonna take a look at a really cool spacecraft she's helping to build. When I was a little girl and people were always asking me, what do you wanna be when you grow up? And I used to always go, I wanna work up there. As an engineer, you, you dream of a job like this where you get to follow in the footsteps of, of some of your childhood heroes. And, and of course, for me, the Apollo missions, seeing these, these folks on TV step on the moon and work for NASA, as an engineer, it's, it's just a dream to be able to say, you know, I want to do that too, and here I am. Hi, I'm Kathy Petty, and I've got the coolest job at NASA. I get to work on a project called the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter Project, or LRO. We're going back to the moon. And guess what we're doing right now? We're building all the parts of the spacecraft at Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland. The Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter is an uncrewed spacecraft that will be launched from Earth to the moon. That means that no people will be on board for this trip. The LRO will orbit the moon at a low height and gather all kinds of information about the moon. That information will be very important to scientists and engineers as they plan to send astronauts back to the moon. The LRO has six instruments on it that do many different things. One of the instruments will study the surface of the moon. We can study the moon from Earth and see all the craters on its surface, but it's difficult to see how deep those craters really are. With the LRO orbiting the moon closely, we'll be able to take very accurate measurements of those craters. The LRO will also help scientists make detailed maps of the moon. One of the reasons why people like Kathy do this is so astronauts will know where to safely land their spacecraft. But the LRO isn't just looking for a safe place for astronauts to land. It's also studying the minerals on the surface of the moon. But how does it do that? By studying color. That's right. One of the many instruments on board the LRO is called a Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter Camera, or LROC. Now that's a pretty big name for a very special camera. This camera will take pictures of the entire lunar surface in color. Every mineral reflects and absorbs light waves or color in its own special way. Scientists can look at the pictures taken by the LROC and determine what types of minerals are on the surface of the moon just by studying the colors in the picture. That's pretty neat, isn't it? Another instrument on the LRO will use ultraviolet or UV light to look for water ice. We can't see ultraviolet light with our eyes. UV rays have more energy than the light we can see. This energy can cause chemical reactions to take place. You may be familiar with one of these reactions if you've ever had a suntan. The UV light causes our bodies to produce a chemical that turns our skin brown. Too much UV light can give us a sunburn. Scientists will use this special light to look for frost and water ice in places on the moon that are only lit by starlight. Kathy and her fellow NASA co-workers hope that the information the LRO gathers about the surface of the moon will help prepare for the astronauts' return. And if everything goes according to plan, the next step could be a trip to Mars. If I were to dream, I, I would love to see that LRO lived way beyond, decades beyond uh, its, its supposed life and was able to do more than what we said it would do and maybe discover something that would not only enable human exploration um, but do something that just made it happen like a lot quicker or we look back on the earth and we were able to help um, life here on earth because of something that we never even thought of because of, of the little project called LRO. That, that would be great. That would be awesome. Just think how much Kathy must enjoy working on the LRO project. After all, it was a dream of hers to work at NASA and take part in our return trip to the moon. And who knows, maybe one of you guys watching right now might have a job like hers in the future. That would be so cool going to the moon and beyond, wouldn't it? 